my name is Sylvia and welcome to my channel. If you don't know me, I'm a social media manager and business mentor from Portugal and I love talking all about starting and growing your own business, marketing yourself on Instagram and Upwork and much more. So if those are topics that interest you, don't forget to hit subscribe down below so you don't miss out on my next video. Now that being said, you guys can probably tell if you've watched any video of mine that this one looks a little bit different. I usually do mostly sit down videos all about different topics related to business and marketing but today I wanted to do something a little bit different like I just said I wanted to show you guys what a week in my life looks like and how I work with clients and everything like that as a little bit of a summary I usually leave the mornings for content creation both for myself and for my clients uh, I just find that's when I'm most creative and productive it's in the mornings uh, so yeah I usually do that and then I leave my afternoons for any calls that I need to take, any revisions that I need to do to my work or anything like that, anything that pops up, I deal with it in the afternoons. So yeah, with that being said, let's jump on to a week in my life. All right, guys. So actually, this doesn't happen that often, but I have nothing else going on right now. I'm waiting on some client feedback and yes, I could get ahead on some client content for two weeks from now, but instead I'm going to do some yoga. I'm going to grab my yoga mat right here and I'm going to do some yoga. So I thought of taking you guys along for the ride and might do a little sped up version of my yoga. And in case you guys are wondering, I actually use the Nike training app for my yoga workouts. I'll put it right here on the screen, but I find that it's really good because it guides me to the exercises because I'm not that, I guess, familiar with yoga. And they don't just have yoga, they have core exercises, they have arms, legs, anything you might need. Uh, and they have some very good ones that are like under 20 minutes. So that's good to break up my workday. I usually do it at the end of my workday, but today I'm just going to do it right now in between my work tasks. So let's do that. Alright guys, so it's the end of this Monday, uh, it's the end of the work day, we got through it. If you're watching this, the day it comes out actually, it's probably Friday, so you got through a work week, so you're much better off than me. But this afternoon, actually, after I got back from my walk, I set up some social media accounts for a client of mine and mostly called it a day. I did a social audit too, but smaller work than the morning. Um, and yeah, now I'm just going to sit down, relax, maybe play some video games, watch some Netflix, and yeah, I'll call it a day. So I'll catch up with you guys again tomorrow. Hey guys, so it's actually after lunch now. Once again, I spent all my morning creating content for a client, so I was very busy doing that. And now I'm actually proofreading and kind of going over what I wrote this morning because it was quite a lot of content and I don't want anything to slip through, any mistakes. Uh, and I actually came outside to do that because, well, it's nice enough weather. It's really cloudy though, uh, which is weird, but it's warm enough to like be in a t-shirt outside, I guess. So I came here for a change and I'm going to tackle some tasks this afternoon, probably until my laptop dies. Uh, and then I'm going back outside inside. <laughs> hey guys, so long time no talk on my end. I know you guys just heard me talk. I don't know. I think it was yesterday when I was sitting outside doing some work. Uh, but it's Wednesday afternoon now and I've been creating content all day. That's the story of my life, I guess. Uh, and I just didn't feel like coming on camera once again and telling you guys that I was creating content all morning because it was getting a little bit too repetitive and maybe next time I do this I'll just do a day in my life because every single day seems to be pretty much the same or similar. So basically now I'm just, it's almost 5 p.m. and I'm just having a coffee uh, and preparing myself for the live that I'm going to be doing inside a Facebook group all about Upwork as you guys can probably guess. And now that I'm saying that, actually, let me plug the Facebook group in the description because if you guys aren't there, you can request to join and then you'll be able to catch the replay of the live that I'm doing right now. So hold on. So this 
is a Facebook group I was telling you guys about. It's the Woman Virtual Assistant and Entrepreneur Lounge. I'm going to have it linked in the description like I just told you guys. And this is actually me going live right now uh, in like 15 minutes. So I'm preparing myself for that. And I have my live presentation pulled up right here. So you guys get a little sneak peek of what I'm going to be talking about. And that being said, I'm going to catch up with you guys probably tomorrow because I don't have any other exciting plans for today. Hey guys, it's now Thursday and once again, it's almost 5 p.m. and I haven't updated you guys. I'm really sorry. I What I've learned this week is I'm really bad at vlogging. Um, mostly because I feel like my life is just boring. It's the same thing all the time. And I don't feel like showing up here and letting you guys know, hey, I'm creating content. Hey, I'm doing other stuff that's not interesting at all. But maybe for you guys it is interesting. So maybe you let me know down in the comments what else you'd like to see. But that being said, today I actually switched it around. I uh, did some other stuff in the morning and created content in the afternoon. So that's my idea of an exciting day, a different day, something out of the box, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I actually wanted to show you guys today my content plan for February because I was about to show that on stories. And I was like, hmm, that would be interesting for the vlog so let me share that with you guys now I do know that this vlog is going up after the first week of February but still you guys can get an idea of what's coming in the next few weeks all right guys so this is my content calendar for February that I did on Trello I'll leave the link down in the description for the video that I did on how I use Trello to organize all my content but basically, as you can see, everything that's pink, uh, it's for Instagram and everything that's red is for YouTube. So as you can see, this is the video that you're watching right now. And I have kind of thematic days. So Mondays are motivational Mondays. Tuesdays are for reels uh, and I'm doing a tip Tuesday series. Then I have work from home Wednesday where I'm going to share kind of the struggles of working from home. Uh, so that may be a, more, a bit more fun. And then behind the scenes Thursdays where I share behind the scenes of what I'm working on. So the first one should have gone up yesterday, let's hope. Um, and it's about the membership that I'm working on. Uh, and then I have the educational posts on Fridays as YouTube videos. And that is it for February for my content. I have quite a filled calendar now that I'm thinking about it. I usually post three times a week and now I have like four to five posts a week depending on whether or not I make the behind the scenes Thursdays reels or stories. I'll probably make most of them stories but one or two may become a reels. We'll see. I've been wanting to try more reels out because they've been getting tons of reach as you guys may know if you've been on Instagram at all <laughs> these days. That being said, I'm now gonna go and get prepared because I have my first clubhouse event. I don't know what you call them. Presentations? Rooms? I think I think they're called rooms. I'm such a newbie. I, <laughs> I have clubhouse for... I've had it for the past few weeks and I haven't... Like, I've logged in, but I haven't used it. I have never joined a room. So this should be fun. I'm going to be talking all about social media management. I was invited by someone in my Instagram, actually. And they invited me to go in the room, talk about social media management. So we'll see how that goes. And if it goes well, I may report back on you guys. Uh, if I don't show up later, you guys will know that I sucked. <laughs> I don't know, but I'll talk to you soon. All right, guys. So it's now Friday. Finally, we made it to Friday and... If you're watching this when it comes out, it will be Friday for you too. So yay for the weekend. Let me know down in the comments if you have any fun plans as much as we can right now. Um, that being said, I had a very crazy busy week. I know it probably didn't look like it because I barely showed up in this vlog. But that's kind of the reason why I was doing kind of the same thing over and over, creating content and whatnot. So I didn't want to bore you guys by showing the same thing over and over again. 
again today is actually kind of a different morning it's actually morning when i'm recording this so um i didn't wait till the afternoon today uh but i wanted to actually report back on you guys uh, on something that i told you on monday that i was doing i was repurposing some tiktoks from a client into reels pinterest pins and twitter posts so I'm now uh, looking back at it for the first time since Monday. I didn't check any analytics throughout the week. I was, <laughs> I was too busy to even remember that, but that's the point. Like I wanted to check back on it on Friday. So looking at the reels and I was initially going to show you the screen, but it's my client's account. So I don't feel like giving out too much information or sharing too much. The TikToks we shared on reels have been doing increasingly better um with something i find really interesting which is the one we posted to the feed so you know when you post the reels you get to select whether or not you want it to show in the feed and some people don't want it to post on the feed because of aesthetics and like sometimes the reels cover to be honest may not be the best one if you're not optimizing it for it but the one we posted to the feed and uh for reference she has 600 followers right now the one we posted to the feed has 8327 views um and the others have there's one with 700 and then the rest is like 200 and below so definitely guys if you can share your reels to the feed um that's it for that okay i was going to show you guys some pinterest analytics but it doesn't seem to be <laughs> to be helping me out uh, i've tried different things and it just doesn't just doesn't want to load um so i'll check twitter and then if pinterest is working i'll let you guys know if not i may put it like in the description somewhere if i remember all right so while i still can't load into pinterest analytics for some reason i can in my business hub i think it's what they call it um i can see the recent pins and the top pin that being said I, I think their analytics are really broken because every single one of our recent pins show zero video views zero average time and zero saves while the top pins that are older have like thousands of views uh, and actual numbers it's not all zeroed out so unless nobody gives a damn about us anymore this may be broken they may be having some issues i honestly don't know but it's not letting me in the actual analytics page so uh i'm gonna go with that <laughs> hey guys i just wanted to come here and here really quick and sign up for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it please let me know in the comments what you thought of it if you think i should do more maybe days in my life instead of week in my life or if i should just stick with the educational content that's okay with me too i after all want to make videos that you guys enjoy the most so let me know what you thought of it in the comments. If you enjoyed it, please leave me a like and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on my next video. That being said, I, I have somewhere I need to be at like five minutes. So bye. <laughs>